Did you know that Albert DeSalvo, also known as the Boston Strangler, was not only a notorious criminal but also a skilled artist who sold his artwork from prison? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The blend of creativity and cruelty. This brings us to the heart-stopping journey we're about to embark on, a countdown of the deadliest American criminals of the 20th century. But Albert doesn't top our list. Let's dive into the dark depths of crime with our countdown. At number 10, we have David Berkowitz, the infamous son of Sam. This notorious figure terrorized the streets of New York City in the late 70s. Berkowitz was known for his chilling spree of shootings, which claimed the lives of six innocent people and left seven others severely wounded. His reign of terror lasted for over a year, causing widespread panic and fear. The son of Sam left cryptic letters at his crime scenes, mocking the police and promising more bloodshed. This not only heightened the fear, but also gave the public a glimpse into the twisted mind of this ruthless criminal. His psychological manipulation and the cold-blooded nature of his crimes place him firmly at the tenth spot on our list. The legacy of the Son of Sam serves as a chilling reminder of the depths human depravity can sink to. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the world of crime. Coming in at number 9, we have Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, a name that sent shivers down the spine of many during the mid-80s. Ramirez was not your average criminal, his methodology was as unpredictable as it was terrifying. Unlike many serial killers who stick to a particular modus operandi, Ramirez varied his, making him particularly elusive and unpredictable. One night, it could be a shooting, the next a stabbing. His victims ranged from children to the elderly, with no apparent pattern or preference. His reign of terror, predominantly focused in the greater Los Angeles area, held the city captive for over a year. The fear was palpable. People double-checked their locks, kept their windows shut, and prayed they wouldn't be next. Despite his eventual capture and conviction, the fear Ramirez instilled resonates even today. But the terror doesn't end here. At number 8, 7, and 6, we have Aileen Warnos, the Green River Killer, and the infamous Zodiac Killer. Aileen Warnos, a name that sends chills down the spine and took the media by storm in the early 90s. She was no ordinary criminal. Aileen, a woman with a troubled past, turned into a fearsome serial killer, claiming the lives of seven men within a span of just over a year. Her crimes, committed along the highways of Florida, led to her being dubbed as the first female serial killer in the United States. A tale as much about societal failure as it is about individual monstrosity, Warnos's story continues to haunt us today. From the sunny beaches of Florida, we move to the gloomy Pacific Northwest, the hunting ground of the Green River Killer. Gary Ridgway, the man behind the moniker, is one of the most prolific serial killers in American history. Over two decades, he claimed the lives of at least 49 women, though he confessed to killing twice that number. His victims, often runaways and sex workers, were discarded near the Green River, earning him his chilling nickname. And then at number six, we find ourselves face to face with the enigma of the Zodiac Killer. Active in the late 60s and early 70s in Northern California, the Zodiac Killer was never caught, making him one of the most elusive criminals in American history. He taunted the police with cryptic messages and ciphers, and his crimes inspired fear and fascination in equal measure. Despite numerous suspects, the true identity of the Zodiac Killer remains a mystery, making him a dark icon of American true crime. We're halfway through our list, and it only gets darker from here. Now we're entering the top five with the BTK Killer and Ted Bundy. Our first stop in the top five is the chilling tale of the BTK Killer. This moniker, standing for Bind, Torture, Kill, was self-coined by Dennis Rader, the man behind these heinous acts. From 1974 to 1991, Rader struck fear into the heart of Wichita, Kansas. An outwardly normal man, Rader was a church president and a Boy Scout leader, showing us that sometimes the face of evil can hide in the most ordinary of places. His reign of terror lasted for 17 years, during which he took the lives of 10 innocent people, taunting the police with cryptic letters and puzzles. Raider's story is a chilling reminder that sometimes the monsters are not under our beds, but walking among us. Now let's turn our attention to Ted Bundy, a name synonymous with the word monster. Bundy's good looks and charm masked a dark and sadistic nature. He used these traits to win the trust of his victims before he brutally took their lives. 
From 1974 to 1978, Bundy left a trail of horror across several states. He confessed to 30 murders, but the actual number remains unknown, with some estimates going up to 100. Bundy was not just a serial killer, he was also a kidnapper, rapist, burglar, and necrophile, a true embodiment of evil. The tales of the BTK killer and Ted Bundy remind us of the darkness that can lurk within seemingly ordinary individuals. They were not born monsters, but they chose to become ones, leaving a legacy of fear and grief that still lingers today. The countdown continues with only three spots left. At number three and two, we have the Boston Strangler and John Wayne Gacy. The name Boston Strangler is a chilling moniker that sends shivers down the spine of those familiar with his reign of terror. This infamous criminal was responsible for the brutal demise of 13 women in the Boston area during the early 1960s. His real name was Albert DeSalvo, but he became known as the Boston Strangler due to his method of execution, strangulation. His victims were all women ranging from 19 to 85 years old. The fear he instilled in the community was overwhelming, with women across Boston locking their doors and living in constant fear. Now let's move on to the second spot on our list, John Wayne Gacy, a man whose exterior as a beloved community member and clown performer belied his horrifying true nature. Gacy was a ruthless predator who lured young boys and young men into his home under the guise of job opportunities or simply through his charm. Once they were in his grasp, Gacy would brutally end their lives, burying many of them beneath his own home. His heinous crime spanned six years from 1972 to 1978, in which he took the lives of 33 young individuals. Both DeSalvo and Gacy were eventually apprehended and their reigns of terror brought to an end. DeSalvo was sentenced to life in prison and Gacy was executed by lethal injection. Their chilling tales serve as stark reminders of the darkness that can lurk beneath seemingly ordinary facades. These two criminals, the Boston Strangler and John Wayne Gacy, held entire communities hostage with fear and marked a dark period in American history. Their horrific acts of violence and the lives they stole will never be forgotten. And now, for the most deadly American criminal of the 20th century, at number one we have the one and only Charles Manson, a name that sends chills down the spine. Manson was a self-proclaimed messiah who led an apocalyptic cult known as the Manson family. His charisma and manipulative tactics enabled him to influence his followers into committing a series of gruesome murders during the summer of 1969, an event that shook America to its core. Manson's crimes were not only heinous but also highly influential, demonstrating the terrifying power of manipulation and control. He didn't commit these horrific acts himself, but instead used his influence to lead others to do his bidding. This master of manipulation was found guilty of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder for the deaths of seven people. His name remains synonymous with evil, forever etching his mark as the deadliest American criminal of the 20th century. There you have it, the deadliest American criminals of the 20th century. These individuals have left a dark mark on history. They've etched themselves into the very fabric of our society, their deeds echoing through the decades. A chilling reminder of the fear they instilled, the lives they've altered. As we journey through the annals of crime, it's essential to remember the impact they've had to ensure we're vigilant, aware. If you found this countdown intriguing, subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, stay safe out there.